Yeah, but what's uh, what's the difference with that and like getting in the mix on Slicker when everybody else is like also pitching an opinion out? I'm not. I'm not. I think for Slicker, trying to get you. On it's because I got scammed. And yeah, he had a reason, I guess. I was a part scammed. of it. I literally lost. Oh, did you give Slicker scared. money? Yeah. Which, and then this is the new T. This is the one that literally uh, basically saved X from all the heat was that uh, Slicker, who's a streamer, used to be a big streamer, uh, scammed like a shit ton of people. Yeah, this is funny because like a few months ago, Slime was like, dude, look, like Slick, Slicker like, asked me for money. Yeah. And I was laughing like, holy shit, it's so weird. Yeah. I, went to, like, I like barely know who he is. I went, to, I went to his account and I'm like, it's crazy that you can have like 80,000 followers on Twitter and need $1,000. Surely, yeah. surely you convert that into like some form of like Twitch stream or whatever you do that you can like that you have a thousand dollars. And uh, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Whatever. I'm like, did you help him? You're like, yeah, I helped him. I'm like, okay. And then he doubled down, right? He asked you again. That's what I was mad about. That's what I messaged in the group chat. I was like, dude, so how it happened, I, I, I tweeted about it, but he's like, uh, at dogpetter28, just a great fan account. But I, I tweeted about <laughs> it and it was like, it was, he, he was like, hey, Bro, I need a thousand dollars. I got this tax problem, and he's like a negative balance of seven thousand pounds. And he's like, "Can you give me a thousand dollars?" I love the part. I went back and read those DMs, by the way. I love the part where he's like, like from the from the jump, he's like, "Bro, I'll give you my passport." He did because say it, that because it would have been so funny if you said yes. I thought about that a lot. The, yeah. Like after this all happened, I was like, "What if I just had his passport?" You message him right now, bro. I thought about it. I want the passport. <laughs> <laughs> you just send it to me. <laughs> I, I can still charge back. Yeah. yeah so he asked for a thousand dollars. I'm like, How, "When can you pay me back?" Because I used to front weed all the time. That's what you ask. You ask. You give them a date and a deadline. And he's like, uh, in like a month. I'm like, okay, sure. I sent it to him. And then he, at, or I didn't send it to him. I said, okay, sure. And then he asked, can I get it in GBP? Which at the time was 25% more. So it was like, it's just, you know, more for money. me, it's just more money. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And I sent it. And then he instantly asked me for 7,000 more GBP. <laughs> so it's about 10 grand he was asking me for in American dollars. And I was like. To which you replied. And I was just like. Do like, bro, you asked me for a thousand dollars and then you asked for it in a, a more expensive currency and then you're asking for 10 times that do, keep the money that I just gave you. Do not message me or ask me for money ever again. And then he's like, bro, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Like you, it's like, <laughs> bro, scroll up. You are like that. <laughs> you're just like, you, are, you are exactly like that. Narrator. He was like, he that. was very <laughs> much like that. <laughs> What's funny is you pull the same move that train did, except at a 100 times smaller scale. Did train do that? Train sent him a hundred K and then he was like, don't ask me for anything ever again. There Even, you go. Don't ask me for anything. We're the same. Except it. Yeah. It's the same different scale. What the same vibes, different Didn't scale. He get, is that what he happened? Gambled he just gambled it, it all away? So Probably. yeah, Slicker had a gambling addiction. I think he was betting on tennis matches and like golf matches at obscene rates. And he was also doing CSGO gambling <laughs> and lost just a shit ton. And would ask somebody for money, thousand bucks. Bisexual gambling, they call that. They do. <laughs> Sports betting on a tennis match. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, so he, he would... <laughs> He would, he would lose a shit ton of money gambling. He would ask somebody for money, usually like a streamer. They'd give it to him. He'd gamble it, lose it, ask someone new. Then the person who gave the money earlier would ask for it back. So he'd have to ask someone uh, new to pay them back. And it was basically uh, just a Ponzi, a Ponzi scheme. scheme yeah. It's a Ponzi scheme that eventually crumbles because the people realize that it, they're not getting paid it's back. It's a Ponzi scheme, but the guy who's doing it isn't rich. Yeah. <laughs> it's just still broke. It's still we do, and yeah. Slicker's like, they take off his mask and it's Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the end result is like probably 100 people lost for amounts from like 500 to $28,000. I love based on the tweets that are coming out and the screenshots, it's like, he really touched every corner of like the gaming internet. Like it's like the esports players and like the cool OTK guys. Yes, and, like he he touched base with like literally everybody he could. And he yeah, I, re I realized that I'm actually I, I got I got broke energy because he never messaged me. That's right. <laughs> you don't got what you don't have that dog. I mean, actually once I, I realized how many people he had reached out to, and I'm like, damn, it's fucking is like Doctor Battle on this list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, what do I gotta do? I'm, I'm buying the expensive the clothes. Like, oh, man. He reached out to the veil. That's, yeah, that's actually Look, so funny. Yeah, he, he, me, he, me and little bro are fucking juiced up, and that's why he <laughs> fucking juiced. hit us up, dude. I All think right, he shit. helped me realize like how many people, because I think there's this idea when you're a little further removed from it that everybody in like this world of streaming, especially if they're like involved with these things socially, is somebody who's making like fucking a buku bucks, but they're not. I think a lot of people are not actually making that much money, and they like. 
they participate in like a social environment that either pressures them to spend yeah, a lot of money or they just this. exist around one like one pillar of their group who does have a lot of money and <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and hey, was able what, to make what, it seem what, what we, like TV <laughs> Like they're they're much wealthier than they are because you were saying like I used to have that idea too. It's like this person has like a big social media following. Surely they've converted this into some sort of yeah. financial gain for themselves. But the reality is like most of these people were just on a Minecraft stream at some point. Yeah, and they yeah. just have a lot of followers, and they're and they're you know, and maybe they're scraping together like a pretty like normal salary for themselves. Yeah, I think it's like the the way to put it in perspective is the top 100 streamers are probably millionaires but like like 101 is mango yeah right mango does not have like a million in the bank waiting for him yeah uh and and so it's like it not falls to say off he's not quick. wealthy like he still has a lot of money but he's there's like great. there's tears and they're very they get very very calcified but people use the term like millionaire streamer complaining lamau sure which applies to less than a hundred people in a sphere where millions stream every month Dude, you know, it's funny too. So again, this is a, another, this, all this liquor things happened and it took the heat off of X it, who broke up with his girlfriend uh, and they like had it out on like online and then like Hassan was in there and everyone was like flinging shit at each other. This took all the heat off him. Um, but before, before we move on <laughs> from that, I thought it was really, I was thinking a lot about it. Cause like we, we dealt with this in like the smash community where it's like a lot of sexual assault, like things came out at the same time. And uh, people will say there was someone, there was a player named Elegant who like apparently just pissed and shit all over himself like 7,000 times in front of people. And people were saying, Wait, like, literally, he literally would get hammered and, and piss yeah. and shit all over himself and walls. What? Dude, it's crazy you missed this actually. Yeah. It was what? like trending. Dude, he was trending on Twitter for like two days. Is he shit still playing? And piss Tens and of thousands puke. of tweets. No. Dude, and so he what? Well, how, how did he how this went? He was a mainstay in SoCal for years. He, how this went is that he. Are you leaning into this right now? I don't understand. I've, I've never heard of this in my life. This happened like a, like a week and a half ago. Yeah. Recent. This is yeah. super yeah, recent, dude. Dude, there was like multiple, give a shit about there was like multiple anymore, stories of basically every story is just it rooted in him like having a drinking problem and getting way too drunk. So somebody and was all, like, and pretty much every story ends where he pisses himself. He pisses himself. But and also, there's, and there's versions of this where he sexually assaults people. And yeah, uh, oh, and there's like recurring. I thought we ended up pissing shit, and I was like, bring him no. back. I can't confirm or deny. That. I don't. I, I. I don't know the whole. So I only know the piss and Let shit the part. Piss and shit all, at a all I'm saying is that. So it were. It was women that were coming forward and be like, "This person made me uncomfortable in the way they acted, and also the piss, and also the shit." And then one person, <laughs> like Bernie Sanders, one person meme. came forward, and then all of a sudden, everyone starts coming forward, and a lot of the incel core, like smash side of Twitter, will be like. Why didn't you just fucking say this when it came out? Like, why you fucking wait till it's fucking clout time to jump on? And I'm like, it, it made me think a lot of like, okay, look at this liquor situation. It's easier for men to look at it because it's, it's pretty much among men. You know what I mean? Or among like, us. It, Sexist, you think men look wow. better? Wow. And he's bald. And so there was like, basically. <laughs> I'm always going to laugh at that. You ask yourself, well, why didn't everyone just come forward? Like, why didn't people say this? When Slicker was scamming them, and it's like, well, the same reason, like that women who I don't know, not like this is equivalent at all, but it's like women who deal with like a creepy guy or something like that that might be famous. They're they're they don't want to come forward and get shit on and then embarrass themselves because it's like, oh, I was naive and trusted somebody. It's embarrassing, and also and maybe embarrass the person that did this because maybe they feel sympathy. Right? This is all what we felt. They're just about asking Slicker. to flip on a stress switch where it's like for what. Like I'm not stressed right now necessarily, but this did happen to me, and it does bother me. And it's like I could flip on the stress switch, and maybe everyone's really nice to me, but likely they aren't because general public discourse has not gone and, that and way. It's like, are, are yeah. you going to announce that uh, you lent this guy a thousand dollars and he hasn't paid you back? What like? <laughs> There's no reason for you just to do that, but only there is when everyone starts coming together and is like. Wait a minute, you too, and you're all the Spider Man. It's harder. The it's harder for people to deny a pattern of behavior, and when you're the first person to come out, you don't know whether or not the pattern of behavior exists. So you risk having to fight by yourself for like your your justice in that individual situation. And even if you get it, I think a lot of the time the person or the victim does not necessarily want the other person's life ruined. They often just want some sort of like reparations. Or not to like see or engage with that person again. And I think with any of these types of situations, the hope 
in a way, it's like you don't want other people to be afflicted by something like this. But the hope is that when other people come forward and sort of back you up with their own stories, it's a lot harder for the incels <laughs> to deny that this is an issue at all. Yeah. Or in the case of like the gambling and the scamming, like, you know, if Slicker had scammed one person and they came forward. It's like the response might literally well, be you shouldn't have given him money. You shouldn't have dumb. given him money. Yeah. But it's like yeah. if this person is somebody who went to every corner of this community, scammed three hundred thousand dollars from everybody. It's like, yeah, this is a fucking problem. We need to stop Dude, this we guy. We take everyone that Slicker scammed. OK. And then we, we make a bracket. Yo, squib game. <laughs> Squim game. Squib game them. Squib game. And then what, number we one, collect all the money they all the gave money. up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Dude, as the first time, two time, back to back, Grayson Slicker scammed idiot. <laughs> yeah, you keep, you keep getting scammed. It is embarrassing to admit you've been scammed. It does suck, right? Like, I, I, I said it to, like, the, our friends, like, the, our group chat, and I was like, look at this. Isn't this annoying? And, it, like, you know, it's not embarrassing because these are my friends, but if I had announced that on Twitter, I'm, I feel embarrassed for being naive. This person who is in a bad spot, as far as I know, is also embarrassed. Like, so, so I, if you ever are like leaning toward inceldom and you're like, well, why didn't people just like come forward? It's like, there's so many reasons why you don't, you just want to squash shit and have everyone be okay, like without doing that. But, and the only reason I tweeted about getting scammed is because I saw everyone else doing it. I was like, oh, I can help build toward this case. You know, yeah. me, me too. You know, it's not like my fucking life got ruined and I have scars, but it's like, yeah, I lost a thousand. I think this thing that sucks for, for the slicker thing too, right? Is you, maybe you don't know this guy super well, but it's like an acquaintance or even a friend and you think you might be helping out somebody in a bad spot. But with like Grayson, it's just like, nah, bro, I'm going to make you so much money, bro. Like you come to Vegas and hang out. We're going to have three ways. And like, yeah. that's what the I money is like for. It's like, I, you get less sympathy with Grayson. Cause it's like the writing was kind of on the wall. I, right? I don't feel like the sleeper one for most people is that embarrassing just because I think mo a lot of people were kind of just like, or especially you, I guess is like, I'm just trying to help a person. If they don't pay me back, I'm not really, they're like, I'll never give them money again. But you almost expect that. Like you yeah. almost expect to like you're saying goodbye to the money, dude. It wouldn't even yeah. be that shitty if he like took. Say he was in a fucking dog shit spot, and he said he was gonna pay you back, and he couldn't. But he used that thousand dollars to like pay for rent and food, and he needed that. It's like I f would feel fine about that. He, please help me. Uh, like his budget is just candles, yeah. but it's <laughs> three hundred thousand dollars. Please, my family is dying. So. so the, yeah. the end of it is that me and PVC XQC are gonna work to pay people back who got scammed. Yeah, think, you, you were mentioning this yesterday. Yeah, X already paid back the biggest a loser, who was Luke AFK, who lost twenty eight thousand. That's uh, crazy. I think that is so much money. It is funny. I will say, like, look, look I'll probably do some shilly mogul mail sponsor in the future. All right, oh. we might got a mobile game squeaking mobile in there. Mobile mail brought to you yeah, by Raim Shadow Legends. Right, brought to you by Dragon Warrior Legends. <laughs> World of Tang. I'll create your dragon today. <laughs> probably. I'll probably All do right, that. We're, ma we're making the Slicker Payback NFT collection. <laughs> <laughs> but what's funnier is how XQC made his money to pay him back is after he tweeted out that he was, uh, that me and him were going to try to people, people, pay people back, he did a slot spin and won 1.5 mil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is like, crazy. Like the, it's like so backwards that he's like, one money gambling and that's how he's paying back the people who lost their money from a gambling addict while having a gambling sponsor yeah that's the thing gambling always money. comes back to your friends in a good way it all kind of moves around dude right. so many people yeah, are posting yeah. the diamond meme yeah like, like this is slicker and it's like the about to hit gold oh <laughs> my god bro